And you can see I've now got four individual branches that I can mess around with, which is lovely. That's what I wanted. So we can close the UV editor for now. And what we're going to want to do next is reshape these so that they look a little bit more branchy. So let's have a look at how we can do that in the perspective view with this one, for instance. So let's put it into vertex mode. And we just want to reshape this a little bit. So I'm going to start with getting the vertices on the sides. Uh, I'm going to move those down. Whoa, not like that. Crazy. That's going to give it that kind of that look that we were talking about earlier. So that's pretty nice already. I'm happy with that. And then what we're going to do is, um, still in vertex mode, we're going to get these ones at the end and we're going to move those down and probably move it back in a little bit as well. Like that, just so we're kind of getting a rotation sort of vibe to it. I'll bring that one down. Um, bring that one down a little bit more and bring it in this way. And that will allow me to just bring that one down. So it creates a bit of a, a drooping effect. I'll do the same with this one. So let's get it into vertex mode. Okay, let's just select the vertices around the side. Let's get it nice and droopy. Let's get these, so I'll move that down, move it in a little bit, move it in like that, and then these three on the end, yeah, move that down, and in, and maybe this one I'll move down a little bit as well, so it's nice and droopy. Oh yeah, that's beautiful and branchy. Okay, we'll do this one, so into vertex mode. Uh, let's get all the verts that we want. So I want those three. And I want those three. Let's pull that down. Lovely. I missed one. It's annoying. Or did I? No, I wanted that. So I'll pull those down. Yep. That's nice enough. And then we're going to set about shaping this same way that we've done with the other ones so let's move that down and back a bit and then we'll get these on the end and move that down and back in and then this one here let's get a nice and droopy ah. object mode oh why can't I hit object mode there we go so that's that branch and then the final one get it into vertex mode Get all those verts that we want to move down. Yep, 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 yep. I'm liking that. And what I might do on this one is scale that in a little bit as well, just to make that a bit more drastic. And just give me a little bit more variation in the tree. Okay, let's select all these. Move that down. Select all these. Move that down. Select the one on the end. Move him down. Okay. So you can see I've now got my four branches. Right, at this stage, just to make it a little bit easier for me to work with, I'm just going to line these up. So I want one there. I'll maybe do this by size as well. So I'll rotate this one around like that. Put that one there. And then we'll have this one over here. And finally this one here. Champion. Okay, so here are our four handsome looking branches. Right, what we're going to do next is set these up so that they work two sided. The uh, issue that you can have with branches is that you can import them into a game engine and you can tell the game engine that they're two sided. So usually uh, polygons are one sided. And that means that they will render from one side, and the other side they'll be see-through. And you can tell something like Unreal Engine that they're two-sided, and it will render the other side, and it'll be identical to the side that is rendered. 
but the problem is the normals. So the direction the faces are facing affects us how light reacts with them. And if you make them two-sided, the normals are still facing the original direction, so they don't light properly. So the best way to remedy that, and we'll just try and do this with them all at once, is we're going to duplicate them like that. And then, let's just get in nice and close on one of them. We're going to move it down ever so slightly. So let's do 0 0.05, minus 0 0.05, sorry. And that will just move these copies down. Now you can see, this is the, the shading problem. Maya's shown them as two-sided, but it's given as a shading problem. There's no colour on this side. And we like them to be seen from both below and above. So in order to get that, we're going to go to... Uh, mesh display and we're going to click on reverse and that reverses the normal direction so now we've got branches that can be seen by uh, from both directions because we've got two copies of them now that does um, double the amount of faces that we've used for these branches but if you want them to look any good you've not really got a choice on that one so that needed to happen right there are our branches. What we're going to do next is combine each of them. So we're going to do mesh, combine, uh, and we'll do center pivot just to make it easier in a minute. Mesh, combine, modify center pivot. Mesh, combine, modify center pivot, and mesh, combine, and modify center pivot. Okay, so they're all ready to go, but what we need is a way to attach them to the trunk of the tree. Now we could just do it with like attaching here, but that it just won't look right. So we're going to create a little bit of a shape that will connect this to the tree uh, to be a bit more of a branch. And then we're going to move on to the trunk. So we're just going to do this for one of the branches and then we'll move on to making the trunk and doing some texturing and then we'll do some duplicating around to save some work and it will all be good. Okay, so what we need to do is create a cylinder. So let's have a new cylinder. And we need to do some work on this cylinder because we don't want to be throwing this many faces away. That's far too many. We want this to be a really, really simple shape. Because, again, we're going to be duplicating this around the tree, and we don't want to throw any faces away unnecessarily, because it's really wasteful. So, subdivision axis, we're going to change that straight away. That's going to become 3. And that will look very triangular. But we're going to use a shading trick, so that when this is much smaller in the tree, it will, we'll assume that it's cylindrical. Which is good. Right. Let's also rotate this around. So we're going to move it just for now 90 degrees. We'll elongate it a little bit. Uh, and that's a good start. Right, let's just call this one branch. No, we can't call this one branch, can we? Because they're already called branch. What should we call this one? It kind of is a branch, but we need it. We'll call it stump. Stump's a good name. Right, I want to get Stump lined up. So let's plop him over here. Uh, yep, and then in the side view, let's just press four so I can see what I'm doing. No, six, sorry. In the side view, we want to just make sure that that is in the right sort of place and facing, importantly, the right kind of angle. There we go. Right, so now it should just be a case of getting this shaped and to the right size. So we're going to get these oh, vertex mode. I'm a terrible aim with this today. Vertex. Okay, let's get those three verts there. 
and we're going to bring them together to form a bit of a point and then we're going to move these so that they are kind of nicely attaching to this branch and we're going to try I think and match the thickness mostly now let's go a bit smaller actually and we'll just overlap okay <clears throat> And then these vertices over here, we're just going to move over to the side a bit so that it's in a straight line. Oh, didn't get them all. Ah, what am I doing? Okay, move those over a little bit like that. Let's scale them in. And that is not enough. About that. And let's just make that a bit shorter. Okay, I think that'll do. So, that's going to be our branch. We're not throwing many faces away on that. That looks okay. And what we're just going to do about this hard edge, because it's very hard, is we're going to click on Mesh Display and we're going to do Soften Edge. And it should now look a lot softer. It still does look a little bit sharp, but believe me, you won't see that when, when we put it in the tree because there'll be a lot going up. Right, so that's the branch made, the stump, stumpy branch. What we need to do now is make the trunk of the tree, and then it's all about texturing the tree and the stump and assembling it all together. So we're getting there, the, the finishing line is in sight, which is good because it's like quarter past 10 at night, I'm usually in bed by now, what am I doing? 